Hey, welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. Today we're going to take the bikes to Kutz Mill Bridge, a covered bridge just north of Kutztown. Now in this video, uh, Marie and I have a camera each on our helmets. I have the Sony FDRX 3000 on my helmet and Marie has the GoPro Hero Session 5 on her helmet. So we'll see how we can do with editing with two cameras. As we roll down into the valley, we're going to come up on the small town of Lyons Station, Pennsylvania. And this particular town has been hit by, well actually this whole area, has been hit by tornadoes in the last 10 to 15 years. So where we built our house, a tornado had come right across that property and down here too. Now, once we cross the railroad tracks down here, we will uh, start to head through open fields. So this is Noble Street from Lion Station into Kutztown. And you'll see it's wide open. And because of that, in the wintertime, this road uh, quite often will drift closed uh, when it snows. Now, we didn't have much snow this year. Uh, but you can see we still got a lot of wide open spaces up here uh, to ride the bikes in. And this is uh, Noble Street. Uh, and we're going to take it to Normal Avenue. And we'll talk about that in a minute.
this is Normal Avenue. It parallels Main Street in Kutztown and it will eventually turn into College Boulevard when we cross Main Street. And you'll see part of Kutztown University uh, on the left hand side as we uh, round this corner. And then you'll see more of the campus on the left hand side as we continue down College Boulevard. As I'd mentioned, Kutztown University is on the left. And if you look to the right, you're gonna see the Kutztown Fairgrounds. Uh, so there's you know, a lot of parking there and a lot of events there that are, are really enjoyable. But we're gonna stay on College Boulevard and this is gonna leave Kutztown to uh, the north. Now on the left and right hand side as we come down here you see apartment buildings and a lot of these apartments are rented by Kutztown University students. Uh, the, the campus generally has you know, between seven and 10,000 students as a population. It has been going down over the last few years. Uh, but they still tend to use these apartment buildings for students. And you can see as we head out here, we're getting into rural areas again, and we're going to continue down this road until we get to Kutz Mill Road, and then we'll make a right. Now, Kutz Mill Bridge is a historic wooden covered bridge. It's located just north of Kutztown in Greenwich Township. It's 93 feet long. It's a bird truss bridge constructed in 1854 and it crosses the Saucony Creek. Now this bridge was repaired or renovated uh, around 1960 so that it could continue to be used. So this is the Kutz Mill Covered Bridge. It's just north of Kutztown towards Glenhartsville. And you see Marie is wearing her camera. What do you think of that ride, Marie? Pretty. I saw the, is it bulls? Say that again? There's buffalo or bulls? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Big animals. <laughs> so here you can see the old mill, the Kutz Mill from 1806. And then here is the bridge. Notice a much lower clearance than the Pleasantville Bridge. And they have iron railings on the side to protect the wood structure. This one has a concrete pad 
uh, and the other ones we're used to seeing wooden pads. Very interesting structure on how they build these. Very nice. So here is the sign. It's repaired in 1960. That water looks awesome. I see two huge fish swimming up through the center. I'm coming back here fishing. <laughs> you see those fish, Marie? Swimming right up through there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, what could they do, Marie, to help us out if they enjoyed this video? Subscribe. And it's free and helps us out a lot. Also, what could they do so they know when we put up a new video? Ring that bell. And finally, what else could they do to help us? Uh, thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up on that video. But more important than all that, go have some fun out there. Thanks for watching.